Ari, Jordi Prepper here, and a bit of a different video. As someone who creates videos on YouTube and other platforms, and using a Windows PC now, I've run into a problem which many people have probably run into on Windows, and that's problems with uh, DPC and latency. Now, what's happening in a computer that's suffering from high latency, it's, it's kind of like a motorway or a highway. It's a lot of information going down in a direction. But usually what's happening is that in each lane, there might be one or two vehicles which are slowing down everybody else. And then that's what's causing the delay, the lag, the pops, the clicks, the stuttering. The traffic's simply not flowing fast and, you know, without this bottleneck like it should be. So this video is specifically concerning itself with one driver, and that's the NTOS KRNL. Now, for me, for a long time, this was right at the top, and it had a very high value. And you can see here now that it's much better. It's like 0 0.09. And I was getting like 0 0.3 or even higher. So the way to fix this is to go to the program linked in the description below, which is the Power Settings Explorer. What this is going to do is it's going to open up some extra options in your power options. You can then change these and then that should bring the latency right down. Once you've got the program open, you're going to see a lot of things in here. Um, basically, what you're looking for is two options. Processor idle promote threshold. Make sure that you, if it's ticked, you untick it. And processor idle demote threshold. If that's ticked, untick it. Then what you need to do is just type in your search control panel. Open up your control panel and then go to the power options. And then change plan settings and then change advanced power settings. Under the processor power management section, you should now see these two options, which you just enabled. And then all you do is just put both of them and set them to 100%. And then you can just OK that. I've already done it, obviously. And then the next time that you run, obviously, it's a good idea to run latency mon before you apply the fix and then after. So you should see, you know, the difference. But once you've changed these two settings to 100%, you should notice the next time that you open latency mon that the NTOS KRNL is much, much lower. And hopefully that fixes um, a lot of your stuttering and your lag, uh, popping, clicking in your audio. All right, so I hope this video has been useful. Be safe, be prepared, and I'll see you next time. Ari, Jordi Prepper here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and share the video too if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and some constructive feedback is always welcomed. The Preppers Discord server is always available to talk to myself and other preppers about prepping and other relevant topics. My other social media is on screen now. You can follow me there and I usually just use it to post when new videos are available. Don't forget to be safe and be prepared and also check your preps.